Welcome to the homework for lesson 11, grade 3, module 2. Write your name on here first. And we're gonna, um, I'm gonna rush a little bit through this, but uh, this is a video, so <coughs> feel free to, to pause it if you need to catch up. Uh, otherwise, it's, it's gonna take me a half an hour to get through all these if I really, if I just take my time, so. Uh, you may have to pause it to catch up or go back over to see watch something again if you miss something or you know if you just need to see one or two of the problems you can skip ahead or just to check your answers you can skip ahead uh, but these are all these are uh, almost all word problems so in fact are they yeah they're all word problems so this is going to take some time and uh, I'm, I'm going to rush it a little bit but we have to RDW all these, so you have to have a picture and an answer statement and a number sentence, some kind of equation. You gotta have all of that. Our first question. Karina goes on a hike. She brings a notebook, a pencil, and a camera. Here we have notebook, pencil, camera. That's right here on this chart. The weight of each item is shown in the chart. So there's what they are, and that's what they weigh. What's the total weight of all three items? So here's our picture. We want to know what... We've got three things. Let's make a little tape diagram here. Now we're weight in grams, right? So this is 312 grams. Then we have the pencil, 10 grams. The camera 365 grams and I'm going to label them N for notebook, P for pencil, C for camera. We want to find what it is from end to end there. And here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to use vertical addition. So add it off by ones. There's seven, six, and two. That's eight, and two threes is six. Three twelve plus three hundred sixty-five plus ten equals six hundred eighty-seven in, in grams. The total weight. Gonna have those units grams. Oh, <laughs> I missed that part. It's, it's right here. I just said to write in the six hundred eighty-seven grams. Seven grams. Together, a horse and its rider weigh seven hundred twenty-nine kilograms. The horse weighs six hundred twenty-five kilograms. How much does the rider weigh? So we've got. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. together, two of them together, and we know the horse, right, we call this the horse, and the rest can be the rider, I'll call that end R. The horse is 625 kg, and the whole thing together is 729 kg, and this is what we have to find is the weight of the rider. So we're going to subtract to find that out. 729 minus 625. And this is going to be a good one for vertical subtraction because we're not going to have to regroup any any ones or tens. Nine. Nine minus five is four. Two minus two is zero. Seven minus six is one. 104. Right away is 104 kilograms.
Question 3. Teresa's soccer team fills up six water coolers before the game. Each cooler, each, each water cooler holds nine liters of water. How many liters of water do they fill? So here's our picture. We need six water coolers, right? One, two, three, four, five. That makes six sections. Each cooler holds nine liters of water. So we have nine at all. have to find all of that. So it's six nines, six times nine, which equals 54. They fill 54 liters of water. It's a Y, not an X. There we go. And we can just label this a little bit here, too. Let's say this is one cooler. That's one cooler. So we know what those nines are. <clears throat> Number four. Dwight purchased 48 kilograms of fertilizer for his vegetable garden. He needs six kilograms of fertilizer for each bed of vegetables. How many beds of vegetables can he fertilize? So a bed is kind of like a, in a garden. A bed is like a section of the garden that usually you put like some boards around it to separate it from other parts of the garden. So it's got, he's got uh, six kilograms for each bed. Well, we don't know. So each bed of vegetables, so he's separating his vegetables. So we didn't know how many groups, how many sections of his garden he has. How many beds of vegetables can he fertilize? That's how many sections he does he have for his garden. So each bed is six, and he has 48 kilograms. Uh, you might have an idea of how to do this already, if you know your sixes really well but we could just do this so here's a, a bed we'll just label this one bed of vegetables which is really bed and each bed has six kilograms right six kg Six kg. Now you could do it like this. You could write. I mean, you may know right away that you want to use a division sentence, and you could do this with division. But you could also skip count six. That's twelve. That's eighteen. Kg. Six kg. Sorry. Twenty-four. There's another six. And we're just going to keep going until he runs out of fertilizer. There's another six kilograms of fertilizer. 36. We're getting closer. Almost there. This is 42. And then our last one is 48. Now you could write your number sentence. Uh, either you could, if you wrote multiplication, it would be six times uh, equals forty-eight, or you write forty-eight divided by six equals those. So I know what the answer is now. How many beds are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It took eight, so this is going to be an eight, and that's going to be an Eight. He can fertilize eight. 
8 bins. Nancy bakes 7 cakes for the school bake sale. Each cake requires 5 millimeters of oil. I'm guessing it's vegetable oil because it would be pretty awful tasting cake if she used motor oil. Uh, Nancy bakes seven cakes, so how many milliliters of oil does she use? So each cake, here's a cake, and I'm just going to label it one cake, uses five, has five milliliters of oil in it. And for seven cakes, we need, so we need two, three, four, five, six, seven cakes. So that's seven fives, right? And you could write five milliliters in each every in, in each box, but we could just also write this multiplication sentence. We need seven fives equals thirty-five, right? And you could just count these by fives too. 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. She uses 35 ml milliliters of oil. Oil. 